and welcome to my book channel. I've uploaded quite a few videos today, but I've got to do this. Yesterday, I finished City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Immortal Instrument, the Mortal Instruments series, my bad. And it was fantastic. It's These books are such phenomenal reads. Cassandra Clare has worked so hard to build such an amazing world. I felt I felt like an, a part of this world from the minute I set foot into the first page. Now, this book is second in the series, like I've said, and I don't want to give too much away because I'm not really into giving spoilers, but it's about a girl and how she's fitting into this world of downworlders and monsters and demons and shadow hunters. And it's, you know, in this there's a lot of action. There's a huge fight scene. There's love and it's forbidden. And like I've said in previous videos, I don't really like books about love and like where they're based around love and without love, everybody would be, the world would end and blah, blah, blah. But this one is, it's done quite subtly. It, it's touched upon because it is quite a big part of the book, but it's so subtle. I think it's, it, it's not subtle as in she hardly talks about it. It's subtle in the fact that the main character, Clary, won't die if, you know, if she can't be part of this love. So yeah, I really recommend everyone to read this book. It's so beautiful. I've got the paperback version. It is, if I'm correct, 411 pages long. It's quite a compact book. It's the size of my hand. This is the second book I've read in my 100 book challenge. So I've kind of, dem I'm demolishing this series right now. Because of these books, I went to London recently and I was sat on the tube. And I generally was looking around at people saying, oh my God, look, that's a vampire. That's a werewolf. Look, that looks like a shadow hunter. Because I feel, <laughs> whenever I read a book, I feel so immersed in, in the world that I start thinking it's real, I suppose. No, but it, it's it's such a good book. I know I'm most probably... Well, I'm, I'm one of the last people in the world to read these, this series. And I know that lots of people love it and a few people don't like it. But I'm definitely part of the people that love it. I would recommend this to most probably anyone. It's so good. Now, I'm going to read the first sentence of the book. Just to show you a kind of, you know, what it's kind of about. Here's this one. The formidable glass and steel structure rose from its position on Front Street like a glittering needle threading the sky. Okay. How, if somebody can tell me, that's a description of a building. That's, I, that's so beautiful. Okay, I'm just, I think I'm just being like biased because I love this book. But yeah, I feel like I want to get tattoos all over me, like runes, just like the Shadow Hunters in this. Now... Everyone, go ahead and read this. You're going to love it. It's fantastic. I brought this off Amazon, if anyone's wondering. Um, I'm, it, I am I don't believe it cost me more than... I got the, the the box set at three, the first three, and it didn't cost me more than £12, I believe. So, yeah, everyone go and read it. The front page is beautiful. I love it so much. Yeah. So, I'm now on to the third book in the series, which is City of Glass. Now, I'm really excited Originally, this was going to be the last book by Cassandra Clare in the Mortal Instruments series, but I know that it kind of spun off quite well, so she did do two more, which is City of Fallen Angels and City of Lost Souls. There is going to be a sixth coming out, I believe, in 2014, so can't wait for that. But let's hope that I keep enjoying this, these books as much as I have in the beginning. Now it's time for an awkward dance. Do do. Model instrument series do 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 okay guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time <laughs> such a random video i'm sorry guys